Hi, Darren Lyle here. Well, I'm continuing to work on my course Blender Vintage Car Creation, where we're creating a 1952 Nash Healy Roadster. And now we're just beginning on the external parts. We've pretty much created the um, all of the body of the car, and now we're working on like the grill here and the various pieces on the exterior that we're just going to kind of build individually and then place on. And in this course, I'm using a lot of Blender's modifiers during the modeling process. It really helps make things more non-destructive. You can adjust and change things before you actually make it permanent. The way I like to create things like the bumper is I'll find an edge on the body and duplicate that off. And then from that basic shape, then you can extrude and use the solidify modifier to create the bumper. And then here I'm just removing part of the mesh and taking some points out of the smoothing group that is shrink wrapping the external pieces to their shape and then creating the turn signal and putting it in there so it kind of looks like the body is molded to accept that turn signal. And then for the vent on top, I'm just once again taking a piece of the car so it has that basic shape and then creating the piece from that. We're using the Boolean modifier to create the vent holes. And from there, we're gonna move on to the rear view mirrors. And for this, I'm using the path tool to create that basic stem. And then from that path tool, creating the extrusion and converting it to polygons. From there, it's just a matter of a few more extrusions, getting it in place and scaling it to the proper size, and then doing some final adjustments. Now for the windshield, I'm actually gonna use a NURBS surface. I'm gonna actually create a NURBS curve, duplicate that, and then fill it to get that nice smooth curve that NURBS are so good at. And then I'll just convert it to polygons from there. And from that basic mesh, I'll duplicate it and scale it up and use that for the frame of the windshield. And then we'll also create that weather stripping as well. Now we move up to create the hood ornament. And this is just basic box modeling with the subdivision surface modifier. And then I use the knife tool to create that little triangle. And there we've got the hood ornament. And then doing some readjusting to fit the reference image a little better. And then we'll create the rear bumper doing the same process as the front. And then I go ahead and remove faces from the back and use the solidify modifier to give it some thickness. And now we begin working on the uh, tail lights. From here we'll move it into place and then we'll also delete some faces, remove those points out of the smoothing group and then move them around to fit them around the turn signal. doing a little more adjusting, and then we'll work on that little, I think it's a turn signal light there on that rear fender. It's an unusual place for a light, but we just used a circle to begin, and then duplicate off an edge to fill in that light. And that's where I am so far on the course, continuing to work on it. If you're interested in checking out my other courses, take a look at the link in the description, and Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.